If we looked at the offense, there's only been 10 offensive linemen drafted in the mm. first 107 picks. Seven of the first two rounds. And wow, straight. The numbers are way down. And, and really what's going on here is the college game can only take what the high school game gives you. The NFL can only take what the college game gives you. And at the high school level, it's spread offenses. Offensive linemen are two-point stances. They go to college. They get 20 hours a week to work. Yep. It's not enough time to really do skill development. And then those kids come to the NFL – and you're expected to play a whole different game of power football, double teams, combo blocks, and all those things, and mm -hmm. they're not ready. And so that's why free agency this year was so important. If you wanted a left tackle, go get Andre Whitworth at age 35. Fill that void because you weren't going to find him in this draft, and I don't think it was just this year. I think going forward, it's going to be a trend. It's going to be hard to find offensive linemen. There's just no time to develop them. Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, Brian Baldinger, eager to get to his uh, biggest takeaway from the draft because uh, you didn't even let me tee you up right there oh. because <laughs> we, we we're supposed to let everybody at home know that there's some Pepsi draft tweets <laughs> yes. on the banner below as they were before in the show. Now, we talked about it's, it's a pretty big defensive draft here, Curtis, that yes. we've seen so far. So what was your biggest takeaway? Because as we've seen, <laughs> No down linemen on the offensive front taken so far, at least not too many. Well, I think Baldy hit it right on the nose yeah. when you talk about where the game is going. When I looked at all the defensive backs, especially the safeties, 11 safeties mm -hmm. in the first three rounds went Heavy. off the board. Yeah. And I think it does go all the way back to high school. What are you seeing now more? More seven-on-seven seven guys. No offensive linemen are involved, so you're starting to see safeties now that can cover. Mm -hmm. And in the National Football League, it's a passing league. You need guys like this guy right here. Jabril Peppers that can come down from a safety position and that can play linebacker that can cover receivers in the slot. Buda Baker, uh, Cheetah Bear, Wouzier. Guys like that who are safeties that are smaller guys but that can cover. Back in the day, they were bigger safety that yeah. played the run. Now these guys have to play the pass. So it was really interesting to see not just corners but how many safeties went off the board. Second and third running backs when it comes to best fit from the second and third rounds. We saw some of the guys that went in the yeah. first round, but how about some of those guys that came a little think, bit later? Think about this, Cole. The Minnesota Vikings did not have a first-round pick, man, oh man. but they got a first-round pick in Dalvin yeah, Cook. Yeah, they did. And, you know, as Adrian Peterson leaves that building, Dalvin Cook comes into the building. It, it is a great, great spot for Dalvin Cook. I, look, he, he, mm -hmm. he was my best running back in this draft. He was a lot of people's best running back. The Vikings got themselves a heck of a player, and Latavius Murray can come there, but that's fine. It's his show right now. For the other value pick is, is James Conner going to Pittsburgh. And it's it's way more okay. than just a, a great feel-good story. James Conner is a good player. He will back up Levy and Bell. Just think about it. University of Pittsburgh and the Steelers share the same facility. He's going to stay in the same building that he's been in Apparently for the last four years. And he's a Pittsburgh kid. Absolutely. It's a great story for James Conner. It's a great place for him to go. So I'm, I'm going to go with Alvin Kamara. Yeah. When you look at where he went to the New Orleans Saints, this is a guy who... Probably he's not a 25 carrier a game, but New Orleans doesn't give it to their running back 25 times a game. It's about an 18 to uh, 15, but he can catch the ball out of the backfield. And you put him in space, you see right here, able to make guys miss, can catch the Great ball. Role. Hey, I'll tell you what, and he's a lot stronger than you think he is. His legs are strong. He has good drive. I like that fit, number one, because New Orleans runs, I would say, a wide open offense. Get this guy in space. You get a linebacker out there in the field, I tell you what, it's going to be tough bringing him down.